Well, science is fundamental in treating autism. Currently, there are over 400 treatments for autism, most of which are not scientifically validated. So it's absolutely overwhelming for parents to make very critically important treatment choices for their children. And science could be the shining light to help parents uh, differentiate between those interventions that give their kid the best opportunity for success versus those that could um, cause harm or, or not necessarily lead to any type of beneficial treatment outcome. We're always talking about being efficient and effective on the show. And, you know, if it's not science-based, you're not going to know that it's efficient and effective, right? And as a parent, do, do you I, not agree? I don't want to waste a minute of my time, nor do I want to waste my uh, resources or my funds in uh, pursuing treatments that aren't effective. We talk a lot about ABA. I imagine that you're, a, since you're a science-based organization, that you talk about ABA from time to time as well. Absolutely. You know, currently, Applied Behavior Analysis enjoys the largest body of scientific support. Um, so uh, ASAT's mission is to disseminate um, scientifically validated information about autism treatment. Currently, Applied Behavior Analysis enjoys the most support. If somebody wants information, and people want information all the time, where could they go to learn what you guys know? We're partial to our own website, of course, at asatonline.org. And individuals can sign up for our free newsletter at asatonline.org forward slash sign up. It's a quarterly newsletter. It has book reviews, article synopses, clinical corner, consumer information. Um, it has uh, a variety of information that could really help parents, teachers, consumers really uh, become the most uh, savvy, sophisticated consumer they could possibly be, which is our goal. Do you guys take apart some of the science that, that gets uh, disseminated? Because sometimes I look at a study and I have no idea. Do you guys kind of give us a, a layman's perspective of it? Do you ever do that? Absolutely. We actually just started a, a column called Focus on Science, where we try to help our readers understand like what the peer-reviewed process is like. Um, oftentimes, um, individuals, they talk about like a, a research, but it's not published research. So um, we really want our consumers to be able to understand what it means to be peer-reviewed, and also to understand that um, you know, five different studies replicating the same type of finding is uh, much more valuable information than one person who might actually benefit financially from their findings. You know, so we really want to uh, provide consumers with information about how to really um, understand the, the power of different research findings. But I have to say, though, that it saddens me that parents of kids with autism have to be in this position with that they have to work so hard. No other group, no other parent group has to work so hard to, to access effective treatments for their kids. I agree, and I'm sure you do too. As a parent, wh what got you involved in this organization? Um, I believed in science and autism treatment, and David hooked me in, and um, they needed help, uh, volunteers, so um, it just no snowballed from there. The, People who are on the board of ASAT have a wealth of knowledge and they volunteer their time. It's, uh, the treatment summaries that are on the website are so helpful to parents. Um, it's, it's an amazing website that's free. I mean, parents don't have to pay anything to access this information. We've been talking a lot today about the transition time and how it's something that we all need to be paying more attention to. But I'm sure, mover and a shaker like you, you'll tell us all when you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't figured it <laughs> out yet. A generation but. of families 15 years ago that had newly diagnosed children are the generation of parents today who are really trying to develop services for adults, young adults with autism. And guys are going to have to be pioneers twice. And we didn't have access to ABA 15 years ago. My son didn't receive early intervention, so um, it's very different today, but um, we're still advocating as we have done for how many years? So. ASETonline.org and the newsletter is ASETonline.org forward slash sign up. It's all free. Facebook page as well. Oh, Facebook. You need to go and like your Facebook page. Yes. <laughs> we have thousands of fans. Okay, wonderful. So nice to talk to both of you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.